Happy Hanukkah! Uh, we are here outside the menorah at Chabad, and I have been informed that if you are going to make a Hanukkah raffle, you have to have a Hanukkah bucket. So we have a Hanukkah bucket, um, and inside this Hanukkah bucket are over 200 photos. We had about 25 to 35 submissions each night. Let me show you some of them. This is from the third night. Um, this is from the second night. Some gorgeous, gorgeous photos. And for those of you that took part in this, you are aware of just how beautiful it was to be lighting menorah together with so many others throughout Pasadena. We had dogs lighting menorahs. We had families lighting menorahs together. We had gorgeous Instagram shots. We had um, countdowns with people's fingers where they were holding up their fingers in each photo. We had some where it wasn't a selfie, but it was just gorgeous menorahs. Thank you so much to everyone, everyone who participated. Now, I can't go through all 200 photos here, uh, but before we uh, do the, uh, the, the raffle drawing, I just wanted to share a quick thought. You know, if you look, take a look at the Talmud, when they talk about uh, how the rabbis ordained this day as a holiday, it doesn't say that immediately after the Hanukkah miracle, they made this day a holiday. It says that Lishana Haba, the next year, they ordained this day as a holiday. Isn't that interesting? Why wouldn't they make it a holiday right away? You know, eight days, a miracle. The whole thing was that it was an amazing. They just won the war. Eight days, the oil, the oil lasted. Why would they wait till the next year? And the commentary point out they were waiting for the next year to see was this actually something that was going to go down in history? Yeah. Not, are you going to choose our raffle? Yeah. They were waiting to see if. No, I, I still want to be on. Here. Okay, once you want to be on here for now. Okay. Yeah. They were waiting to see if. <laughs> They were waiting to see if this miracle, if this holiday would actually have a lasting impact on the Jewish people. You know, it, you know the Talmud also tells us about the holidays. Passover, for instance. After Passover, there'll be enough inspiration to last until the next year Passover. After uh, Sukkot, until the next year Sukkot, etc., etc. So here's the question. Will this year Hanukkah last until next year's Hanukkah? Will your inspiration from this year's Hanukkah, whatever it was, whatever it was that moved you, will that last until next year's Hanukkah? And my recommendation to you is, we got a couple hours left. The sun is about to set. In a couple hours, I would say, just about an hour left. Will, your question is now, will this Hanukkah last until next year? And with that, we're ready for the raffle drawing. Menachem, come on down. Okay, come on down. <laughs> Menachem, by the way, is <laughs> he's holding the Hanukkah bucket and he's wearing can you show everybody what you're wearing? And I was wearing a, a special Hanukkah kippah and he's about to do the raffle drawing okay so we got over 200 photos in here Menachem if I can ask you without looking close your eyes no. stick your yeah you have to close your eyes that's how a raffle works so you know what why don't you look up at the sky stick your hand in here and choose one photo from inside just one not two just one ta-da and the winner is this photo. We'll have to take a look to see exactly whose photo this is. You are the official winner of a brand new iPad. Peace.